Okay, guys, I'm here today with Jeff Glover, huge honor for me. Guys, uh, Jeff just shot an entire instructional all about back takes and finishes, and today he's gonna show us here one of his favorites, that's the one he calls like the seven-year-old choke. Seven-year-old choke, yeah. I'm excited to learn it. Okay, so yeah, it's like um, if you ever teach a kid's class, you'll you'll teach a little seven, five-year-old, six-year-old kid, okay, get on the back and put in the hooks and do the remake and choke, but they're so like, disproportionately sized that their little arms can't like fully lock a rear naked choke around you. And you'll see a lot of the kids struggle and they try it, but there's there's always like a, a small percentage of really smart kids that figure out like, dude, I'm not wasting my time with that shit and they do their little version of it. And um, I'm willing to learn from a kid. I'm willing to learn from anybody, you know what I'm saying? So I saw kids doing this and I was like, maybe I should try that to adults. But basically what kids do is they'll get behind you and the little rear naked choke doesn't just get, cause their little arms don't get in there and it's like hard for them to finish that but the smart kids will go like this, okay? And whatever grip, it might be this grip, it might be this grip. They might, I've even seen kids like interlock their fingers and do it like this, okay? Um, for me, the best grip is I grab the back of my hand, okay? And with this, obviously right here, I mean, I can choke Bernardo, right? And get a pretty good squeeze off that right on the Adam's okay. apple. But the really smart kids, they get their legs on your shoulders like this. Oh man, it's awesome. It's like a kid at Disneyland. You put the kid up on your shoulders and they're sitting on you. A smart kid can grab your hand, their hands under here and push down with their thighs into your shoulders and pull up with their hands under your neck. And it creates a lot of leverage. And um, a kid did it to me. <laughs> it worked. I had to tap out. And I thought, okay, what if I do this to other adults? So I started doing it and I realized also if I can triangle this right oh my here, God. it puts it's so nice. yeah. much pressure, you know? So now I use it all the time. So like sit up, Bernardo. So if I have like your back with hooks and we have like a seatbelt situation and I'm trying to rear naked, but both his hands have engaged in here and it's just like, ah, you're not gonna get that as I'll go little kid style. So I push it back to the center. I reposition Bernardo so I can start climbing, climbing, climbing. And now this will shift up under his neck. I lock the triangle and they're almost left with only their feet to tap with because their hands are engaged, right? And if I squeeze, 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 you'll get that tap. Boom. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> No, how did you come up with that, Jeff? Well, I, I learned Watching the kids? You, well, a kid did it to me. I was I was uh, really bad at organizing kids' classes, so I didn't know how to have um, all the kids, like, in position where they should be. So I'm teaching these two kids. I'm, like, hands-on instructing. I'm like, you do this, you do this. And this one little kid was not paying attention and just kind of ran up from behind me and sat on my shoulders, Bernardo, and locked his hands on me. And we fell here. Oh. And, and he started <laughs> squeezing the crap out of me. And I started like tapping out. I was like, okay, you got me, buddy. But I, I did not teach this kid what tap out meant yet. So yeah. I'm tapping him and he's not letting go. I'm starting to go unconscious in front of this whole kid's class. So <laughs> That's awesome. I had to reach up and grab his little finger. I had to grab his finger and bend it to make him let go. I essentially had to cheat. You know. So I, I learned a really good lesson that day. I was like, if that little kid could put that on me and get me to the point where I had to cheat to get out, what if I do that to other adults? You got it. No, and Jeff, that might work for sure. Because for example, I think like using one leg to trap one arm is always a challenge, right? It's hard to get it. But if you allow yourself to use both legs and almost like get rid of the back, I, I can see that happening all day long. Well said, exactly. Yeah. So do you use that a lot as well? Like when you were training or competing? In the I back? do, yeah. Often. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah, so guys, Jeff just shot this entire instruction all about back attacks and finishes. And uh, what's the name of the instructional? Back to the finish. Back to the finish. Why? Because it's like the movie Back to the Future. That's awesome. It. And it's coming out at bjjfanatics.com soon. So make sure to check that out. And maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So thanks so much, Jeff. Always. Appreciate it. Always. Always. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed bjjfanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.